All right, here we are at 2180 uh, Ariel Circle. 809 is the unit. That is a single car garage. Long driveway, as you can see, pavered. There's the buildings. We're at kind of the back end. That's the entrance to the neighborhood that way, past that truck. This is where it kind of circles back around past that Gulf Shore cooling truck and circles left. Community pools down that way, like I said, about, you know, 75, 100 yards, something like that. All right, so we're gonna walk into the unit. Have a little gate here. Tile floors on the entry. There are, there are a couple cracked tiles here, just to point those out. Okay, so it wouldn't take much, obviously, to, to pop this up and replace those. Your single car garage in your laundry room is here. You got cabinets above, a couple little racks. Comes unfurnished, they have plans for the furniture. Clean and eat in here. There's an access up there for storage. You got some extra cabinets here. Then they have an extra cabinet piece right here to my left. Okay. We'll trace ceiling in the entry. These are the wood floors I was talking about. Guest bedroom to my left. This is where the HVAC is. Like I said, new in 2018. It was installed. Guest bath, a couple other cracked tiles in here. So like I said, it, it probably could use at least those tiles being replaced here and in the entry. Guest bedroom, plantation shutters, which is a nice touch. Very Southwest Florida, all the lights, all the fans have been replaced at some point recently in the past couple of years. Um, so it really helps out with kind of the feel and the decor of the place. You know, they, they put in really nice fans, real high-end stuff. So um, here's your den, double door entry. You can see uh, some people can turn those into like, you know, glass double doors for the ladded, you know, openness to it if you want, but it holds quite a bit of furniture as you can see. Um, come in here, it's your main living area. And that leads into your private Formal dining, a lot of people don't use formal dining, so they'll turn that into a little office room or something like that, or an extra little sitting room. And then they'll use that as your quote unquote dining, or people just put a big old table on their patio and use that as their dining if they want something else. Because there is plenty of space out there. So I'm gonna circle around this way. You got like a double tray here in the ceiling as well. You put a little crown molded in there to accent. Got your hard surface countertops. There was some like dome lighting in here back in the day when this was first built, but they took it out and put in some, some track lighting. Cabinets are in decent shape. They could probably be refaced, but they're not, they're not in bad shape at all. White appliances. I, I don't remember the age of the appliances. They're not original. They've been replaced at some point, but I honestly don't remember when or how. And that faucet's been replaced. I believe the sink was too. Plantation shutters here. Here's your eating, eating kitchen area. This is where the patio steps down. As you can see, they have these custom Hunter Douglas, I forget the name there, Hunter Douglas blinds. So these things roll down like this. And they have them here and here. So it gives nice privacy to the patio and some, some shade. And then they have, these are the sliders. So then these open up and they have a screen door so you can still walk access out there. And these sliders go all the way, all the way down that way. Actually, that's no, not true, sorry. They actually have a divide here in the middle. And there's an access to the master that way as well. Get a little better idea of the view. There's your tee box for 16. You finish on 15 over there, it's a par four, and then you circle back around to the tee box here. That's 16, and then it goes towards the clubhouse that way. Little pond right out here in front of us. 
It's a really, really cool view. Well, countertop space here. It's all people put bars, bar stools right there. Circle around in the master. Wood floors in through here as well. There's dual his and her closets. This one's the his, it's just got wire racks. This one is the hers, and it actually has some custom, custom closets. About the same size, really. Here's the master bath, which I was, I was saying needs a little TLC. You know, just cheaper cabinets, like a cultured marble tops. What I call your clown lights, and then a mirror that's not framed, old jacuzzi, which most people, when they redo it, just rip it out and add, you know, a bigger shower. There's the framed, framed shower. So this whole area could use a little revamping, and that's what I was kind of talking about on the phone. It just leaves a little to be desired, I think, of all the things that need to be done in this in this place. That would be the first to go. And there's the sliders out to the patio from the master as well. I think that about does it.